Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It is June 17th, 2024. We are in the Old Testament book of Amos. We're going to read chapter 3 today. All right, so Amos is prophesying to the nation of Israel right before they go into exile. Laid out all the punishments and, and the wrath that's going to be poured out on the nations around Israel, including Judah. And then he honed in on Israel which is where he, he his main focus is. And he's really laying it on Israel. That, hey, they were God's chosen people, and, and they turned their back on God. So what did they think was going to happen? Well, he's going to lay out the authority that he has as the prophet of God. That, that you know what? God is, none of this is a surprise. You know, God has told us all the way through what he's going to do if, if his people are, are disobedient to him and, and He's getting ready to do it. So that's essentially where we are with the with the authority and that, that this isn't just a random act. This isn't God just being angry for no reason. God is punishing the sin. We believe in a holy God. If he's holy, then he cannot abide sin. And they can't coexist. You can, you, you can only choose one master, God or sin. And if you choose God, well, then he will come to you he will pull you to him and you will become part of his people part of his remnant and you'll enjoy eternal life worshiping god in goodness and bounty uh you choose sin well you're not gonna you're not gonna get any of that you're going to suffer his eternal wrath so let's go ahead and we're going to read amos chapter three hear this word that the lord has spoken against you O children of israel against the whole family which i brought up from the land of egypt saying you only have i known of all the families of the earth therefore i will punish you for all your iniquities can two walk together unless they are agreed will a lion roar in the forest when he has no prey will a young lion cry out of his den if he has caught nothing will a bird fall into a snare on the earth where there is no trap for it Will the snare spring up from the earth if it has caught nothing at all? If a trumpet is blown in a city, will not the people be afraid? If there is calamity in the city, will not the Lord have done it? Surely the Lord God does nothing unless he reveals his secret to his servants, the prophets. A lion has roared. Who will not fear? The Lord God has spoken. Who can but prophesy? Proclaim in the palaces at Ashdod and in the palaces in the land of Egypt and say, Assemble on the mountains of Samaria. See great tumults in her midst and the oppressed within her, for they do not know to do right, says the Lord, who store up violence and robbery in their palaces. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, An adversary shall be all around the land. He shall sap your strength from you and your palaces shall be plundered. Thus says the Lord, As a shepherd takes from the mouth of a lion two legs or a piece of an ear, so shall the children of Israel be taken out who dwell in Samaria in the corner of a bed and on the edge of a couch. Hear and testify against the house of Jacob, says the Lord God, the God of hosts, that in the day I punish Israel for their transgressions, I will also visit destruction on the altars of Bethel, and the horns of the altar shall be cut off and fall to the ground. I will destroy the winter house along with the summer house. The houses of ivory shall perish, and the great houses shall have an end, says the Lord. May God bless reading of his word. May God bless you. Bye.